Alright, so this is going to be my first real video. Um, sorry, my hair makes me look like some sort of Chia pet or Screech. That's just the way it rolls. All the previous videos are like filler material. And it's all building up to this one. Anyway, um, so this is a sort of anecdote on New York. Why I think that the New York City education system is becoming a bit socialist. What I mean is that teachers are, and schools are being based their pay through the fiscal on the value of their labor. That's not to say socialists are pro fiscal or having everything paid by some state or fed but that there is a value of labor thing that's going on that pre-marginalist philosophy on economics or science <laughs> I think that I worded it out a bit too awkwardly regardless so now teachers and schools are being based on their GPA and that's how they're being paid. Their GPA regents averages for all the students and attendance. That's one of them. Plus there's those weird quiz things where you schools are being rated based on how many people take that quiz on their opinions of school. Just a number. And to be honest, I don't find this that strange. Schools are always doing this absurd thing where they're basically <laughs> socializing the teachers. And it's not going to be fair. Let's say that all students have the right attitude and they all get shit done equally. But there's still those innate characteristics that are going to make some teachers have a hard time with the variables so you'll find some innate differences in pay rate even if all other variables are the same and this just makes this labor value of pay a bit more unorthodox so another thing is that for regions wise I don't know but for class wise in order to raise a GPA don't you think they could just go Oh, well, you pass, you pass, you pass, you pass, you pass. Not you, you're an asshole. You pass, you pass, you pass. Alright, I'll go back to you. You can get an 80, maybe. And that's what's going to could go on. For regents-wise, they could just make everything else study time, learn how to cheat time, self-study time, which is really what I think is the best way to do, to learn self-study. But it might not work for everybody. Some people have mental disorders where they might need an actual teacher if you're dyslexic and the words look like alphabet soup to them. They could have like a teacher help them interpret that. For the most part, self studying is the way to go. Sorry about the tangents. Another thing is that. What this does is that uh, it's like the Soviet Union with the chandeliers. People would build the chandeliers and they were paid based on how much the chandeliers weighed, so they would naturally make the heaviest chandeliers they can to get the best wage. And this wouldn't be stable, so it could actually cause some accidents to occur with the chandeliers falling. Which I think is a little bit what's going to go on right here teachers are just going to try to make everyone have the highest grade possible through strange means the ones that don't well good for them they're probably going to be paid very little compared to the next guy what I see is that this is going to lead to even more controls 
via state. State is gonna go, oh look, people are just handing these good grades out. We need to regulate this even more. So it's gonna so this control, this socialist control, is going to be juxtaposed with even more controls. And yeah. Sorry about saying and so much. I really don't know what's going on with me. This just ain't my day. What else? What else? And I think in a stateless society that we can I have a schooling do, you know, an education do, just like there could be a defense do. There would be an education do and just wouldn't have those absurd socialist means. Or they could just be pure private education. That isn't that's, you know, completely voluntarily funded since we really do need if there is gonna be a stateless society, a lot of people who understand the binary system of mathematics, they can make good computers and hardware. Or people who are really good with the quaternary system and they can do a lot of, you know, stem cell research, genetic engineering and research like that. Which is something that's becoming more exponentially important. So we're going to have maybe a education due for the first decades or so or we can just stick with you know private education have the people that actually do care about these things pay for which is what I think is the best way since a lot of people are, are not going to care there aren't going to care about these things I sound pretentious when I said are not should have stuck with aren't at the beginning and that's the main problem that if we have an education do or not in this daily society there isn't going to be these absurdities about these absurdities and education will run better because these facilities aren't going to lead into some sort of fiscal socialism that's going to drive everyone crazy and there's not going to be a legitimate fiscal there's not going to be some state that's funding all these things and they're going to have to compete in that manner they're going to have to focus on the rhetoric the rhetoric trying to get the people to give them money which is the way I think it's going to go I want to go to this school well the school offers a lot of athleticism. Is your son athletic? Does, can he do stuff like baseball, football, boxing, wrestling? Then, alright, he could pass through. And that's how things would go for the school. They would try to compete that way. And that's a lot of what's going on right now. Schools do have to lure people in. And then private schooling is actually cheaper than public schooling. Just so people don't notice because, you know, there's these little calculations. And private schooling is, despite not having a, you know, running completely via fiscal, still has complications through the state that makes it highly expensive. And we don't notice, we don't add up the added cost of these strange variables that we had to deal with in public schooling and having to go for the four years instead of building up all your credits in specific classes and leaving early and so it just makes proof that private schooling can be cheaper and usually will be cheaper than public school So my view is that we drop the fiscal system of education. It's too socialist. It's too corporatist. It doesn't get the job done. We'll either leave it to uh, an education due, 
or just do it old school.